For the upcoming WSPA team tournament, we're going to be using the CompuSport app to keep track of scores and winners. There will be paper score sheets available, but I think you'll find that the app is very easy to use. Depending on where you left off in the app, you could be presented with different screens when you open the app back up. So you need to do two things. is You need to be in the right tournament. So you can click here tournaments and I'll bring up this. This is our test tournament for this demonstration. Next thing you need to do is to log in. Quickest and easiest way to log in is to use Facebook or you can create a free account with CompuSport right here. I've already done that. Yes, we know you can see my password. Now, you need to register as a scorekeeper. There's two different ways to do this. First way is click on search and find your name. Click on it. Now, see this flashing follow? You want to click on that. Then you want to click it's me and then click save. That will do two different things. It will give you notifications each time any of this happens and you'll be able to keep track of the scores on your phone. I'm going to show you the second way to do it now. You would click on scores. Click on the drop down for your team. Find your team and click on this drop down and make sure you find and then find your name. Make sure it's your name here and then you would add you as a scorekeeper for that team. You can just X out of this. Now the next thing you want to do you want to go to your score sheet so click on waiting score sheet. This is your waiting score sheet. Click on that then click on scores. This is your score sheet. Your score sheet in the app will look exactly like the paper version. <clears throat> so you need to set your home in a way first. So let's say Callan Street was is the home team. So you can just click options and flip that and that'll get it right for that. Then you need to set the order of players. Just use the drop down arrows. they will get filled in automatically in the correct spots then do now one person can set both lineups or each a player on each team can set the lineups it will just uh, all you have to do is hit refresh and to see every, all the correct names so now it's, once we have the lineup in here, now we have to set who's the winner. So it's pretty easy. Kelly won this game. You just click in this box. Scores one nothing. Here, Veronica won. Scores two nothing. So now this this test demonstration is only a race to seven. So So the score is five to three. Now Lori won her hill game. Oop, I mean it was a yeah, that was only the sixth game. Kelly wins the hill game. So it puts the winner here. Now all you need to do is click finish match and everything will be updated instantaneously. Something else to note, you will be able to sub in players. There would be at the beginning of the round. You must notify your opponent that you are doing that. It's very easy to do. Just click on the drop down box. So Doug is going to substitute in for Jeff right here. And please note that Doug's name will get added below that. Uh, if you want to take Doug back out and put Jeff back in here, you can do that. If you've got a question on the substitution rules, Please see one of the referees or come to the registration desk. That's it.